Meantime, I'm gonna learn how to accept my boobs more. I was recently asked by a friend if I would ever get breast implants. And that's something that I've thought about quite a bit. Not necessarily because I thought, oh, I really want to get breast implants, but just the whole topic has made me think quite a bit. Getting asked that question recently has made me think, oh, it's an interesting thing to talk about. I don't really want to talk about it. It's kind of like talking about the spanking thing. Um, it's just, it's vulnerable to talk about this kind of thing, at least for me. Some background, when I was 17, I was considering getting a nose job because when I was 15, I got my nose broken. And so there was a little incentive to correct it, although I think it was fine. But I was getting pressure from family members to get a nose job. I seriously considered it, I think, but I never could finally pull the trigger on it. Back then, what all I could think about was if I change my nose and then I ever have kids. Hey, I'm in the middle of vlogging. Can you wait? All I could think about is if I change my nose and I ever have kids, will they not be able to accept the way they look? Because invariably they're gonna have some of my features, maybe my nose or kind of my nose. I always struggled with my nose. My nose was one of my features that I didn't really like. And I thought, oh, it should be smaller, it should be straighter. I am way more comfortable with my nose now. And I would say I even like it and I don't think it's ugly. But that took a good two decades to get to that point. Breast implants are a similar thing for me. I feel like getting them would tell myself your body is not good enough the way it is. Your boobs should be perkier, they should be bigger. And these are all things that have been really tough for me because in our society that is considered Mm, sexier, more desirable, more good looking. And I've really fought against that in my own mind. And I've told myself, you know, try to logically say that's just subjective. That's what our culture says is beautiful, is sexy, but it still affects me. And I've had a number of friends and family members get boob jobs that I've been faced a lot with. Well, what's wrong with it? Why shouldn't I do it? They seem happy with it. They seem to not regret it. And I don't see anything morally wrong with getting a boob job. Definitely not. And I can even see how it can make someone feel sexier. It could be a source of joy maybe even for them. I don't know if I go that far. Maybe, I don't know, a source of happiness for them, which I think could be a good thing. I just, I don't know. For me, I, I feel like I would be selling out for something I really deeply believe, which is you are good enough just as you are. You are beautiful just as you are. Now, do I always believe that or feel that? No, 
Definitely not. But I really want to. I really want to. I, I mean, I have days where, I mean, just the other day, especially after my friend asked me that question, you know, and I, I, I respect her and I, I really like her. She's my friend. And I started to really think like, well, maybe, yeah, like maybe I could, I could get one. It's not so bad. The more I mold over it, the more I just, more was just on the side of, nah, I don't think that's for me. This is a side issue, but I do think it's important. Ben says that he wouldn't like how that would feel. They're just, they feel different. Like they're, and they even look different, obviously, but it's, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's a factor too. Like he doesn't really like them, but at the end of the day, I think it's the most important thing of well, what do I want? Because it's my body and I am the one living in it. <laughs> I don't know, I think this is a bigger, bigger topic because I think boob jobs have become really, have become way more accepted in our culture and I think that's okay. Maybe that's, I don't want people to feel shame over getting a boob job, like that would be a travesty for me. But I think there's also on the other side a lot of shame for people not getting boob jobs. I think I fall into that category. Like, oh, maybe I shouldn't think my boobs are sexy because they're a little saggier after breastfeeding and having six kids. And I'm 38 and they're not as perky as they once were. And my boobs have always been small. That's just the boobs I was given. Oh, maybe I should have bigger ones because otherwise I'm not as good looking or desirable as a person or sexy. And even shame over feeling like I needed to feel those things. I mean, shame's a son of a bitch, right? But, um, oh my gosh, my kids are blasting music. Hold on. I think it's, this is a bigger issue on changing your body permanently with plastic surgery. Boob jobs have gotten way more accepted in our culture. And I think it's a struggle when things get more just socially accepted. It's like, oh, am I less? And now I'm seeing all these people with boob jobs and am I less than because I didn't get a boob job? And you know, and my 17 year old self was, oh, am I less than because my nose doesn't look a certain way. It's not small enough and it's not straight enough. And at the end of the day, I think if you, are changing your body so that you could feel better about yourself. I, f I think that there's a deeper thing going on. This is what I'm finding with myself. I think I could have changed my nose and I think I could get bigger boobs, but it's not going to, in the long run, help me have an identity that isn't tied to how I look or what other someone else thinks of me. If I got a nose job back at 17, I think it would have really shortchanged my journey with that. Accepting myself, truly accepting myself just the way I am. And I feel similar with the boob job. I still think there's other ways to do that, even if you get plastic surgery, but I don't know. I think it, it can shortchange that process and kind of just kick it further down the road. You know, when I'm 70 and boob jobs, it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> like gravity wins, right? But self-acceptance at the end of the day is what really wins. Being able to fully just accept and know that God who made you, God accepts you just the way you are and thinks you're, you're, awesome looking. That's my truth that I want to hold on to that nothing will be able to shake. Not gravity, not time, not disfigurement, not old age. I would love to hear from people in the comment section. What have you struggled with this? Have you ever felt pressured? to change something of your body. Have you felt shame on either side, either not getting plastic surgery or getting plastic surgery? 
I'd love to hear about it and to have people discuss it and especially on our Facebook page um, there's we have a private one and a public one so if you want to be more private about it and talk about it um, and you're not on that page and you don't know how to get on that page let us know we'll try to direct you to that page because I I'd love I'd love for it to just be norm more normalized this conversation about body image changing your body image how women feel about that and men I don't want to discriminate because I do think it's on both sides let me know what you think meantime I'm gonna learn how to accept my boobs more <clears throat> And I hope you can too. We have to kind of stay here though. Look until... at that weather today for today's run. Ooh, and Cammy nice. is dressed like a Gray teenage ninja. mutant ninja turtle. Looking kind of cute there though. All right, let's go. How come you're not running today? normally a whole park here that is just now completely underwater you can see the tops of trees right there that is crazy wow. okay do you see this hooters behind me normally if you go in that you go on this bridge but look at that so normally that bridge points downhill because that thing's like 20 feet down but now it's like the river's so high this whole parking lot's underwater. Look, you can see the top parking lot signs right there. I like how you're showing Hooters on today's vlog. It's very appropriate. Oh yeah. We got some mini Hooters there. I've never seen this wall close like this. Newport flood protection. Man, that's a road right there and it's underwater. This is like the long game of thrones. So this is where we decide whether to do the long run over there or the short run right here. And Cammy's idea was to spend, do a short run and then do a quick sex session so we can spend a longer cigar session. But it's Valentine's Day and I think it'd be better to, geez. Wow, there's like dumpsters floating down there. So I guess we're doing a long run. Yeah, I'm fine with a long run. But Seven is turning around and doing a short run now. So what about sex today? Well, it's Valentine's Day. Yeah, I know. We don't want to skip it. No, I never said we'd skip it. No, we're just going to have to find a way to fit it all in. That's what we she have, said. <laughs> we have to eat dinner while smoking and watching Game of Thrones. But I'm cutting off right there. Look, those are parking spots. Normally, that's like a 20 foot wall. The water is usually down there. And it's all the way up on the grass. That's where the Reds play, right there. She was hiding underneath that car. We just got done running six miles. Felt pretty good. <clears throat> you know how people buy carbon credits so they're carbon neutral? 
That run was about being nacho cheese neutral for me, because I had about a full bowl of that. But the way I figured after six miles, I'm probably about nacho cheese neutral for the day. For dinner, I'm making homemade Alfredo sauce and fettuccine noodles um, from this cookbook. We just recently got. Hopefully it turns out, I think it'll, it tastes pretty good so far. Valentine's Day, babes. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, it is Valentine's Day, and Cammie and I are celebrating by having a family business meeting. <laughs> They're supposed to be on Thursday nights, and this is our first one that we have had since we decided on this on our treat, and I just found no, out that, that I guess I'm in charge of it. So, here we go. This family business meeting, we talked about any problems that we had with all of the new schedule that we set up, and we like rearranged things in our day, like chores and who was in charge of taking out the trash and recycling, and Shabbat meals, and shared any problems we had and um, the solutions that we all agreed on. Um, now we're gonna go watch Game of Thrones. These couches are really nice. They're a lot more comfortable than our old ones. But it's a little sad to say goodbye to our old ones. We have a lot of fond memories. Like our cat pissing on them. It feels really cozy. We've got everyone's in here. 